Hello, Professor Bright here. Welcome back to A House of Many Doors, where I just found out that I can minimize this thing and actually, you know, get a good look at the background. It's kind of nice. I kind of love it. Anyway, though, last episode we made the trip to the Old Hollow, sort of accidentally, because we were really trying to go to Penitence Bluff. Although, I also picked up a job at the City of Masks to fix a dirigible called the Drifting Bean, which will be the first flying coffee house, hopefully. In theory, possibly. We'll find out. So, goal is to get to Gossamer Smile, pick up an Aranax, Silk there, then... Well, I guess we'll go to Penitence Bluff, because it's right there. But then, we'll make our way to the City of Keys. Huh. A church from another world, its spire is sagging, its steeple fallen, and candle stubs and damp rotted holy books scatter the floor inside. You wonder if it was stolen on a holy day, perhaps an entire congregation was devoured by the dark. Your crew linger in the church, laughing and putting their boots up on the pews and treading on the holy texts. You get a sick feeling in your stomach, cold fingertips brush the back of your neck, something is wrong, and you order your crew back to the canetopede. Something sinuous creeps among the rafters overhead, watching you leave. Wonderful, forgot this was horrifying. Almost. Almost forgot. But yes, we, uh, actually. The problem is, we accidentally saved some people. I say accidentally, I meant to save them. Really, I did. It's kind of actually... Unhappy with the whole thing, I suppose is the word. Yeah, I suppose that's the word I want to use. Just because, you know, I mean... I don't want to leave them to die, but at the same time, there's a lot of my fuel that they... Five barrels of fuel. <sighs> oh well, it's fine. It's fine, I'm just exploring the southern reaches and... Probably all will be fine. I'm... Excuse me, what? Do you want to run that sound by me again? Because it sounds like something rustling and I'm not sure if that is the game where it's here and I'm very... Yep, okay, it's definitely here. Hi, frog bit smut. What? Sandy, why do you keep bringing me to these weird places? I feel the need to ask this. Oh god, spider. Nope. Mm -mm, nope. Mm -mm, nope. It is also much faster than I am. Now, I'd improve my... Am I wrong? It should be graph that makes me go faster, right? Pretty damn sure that's the case, but oh well, doesn't matter. Spider's gone, so it's fine. Enter the cottage, and eh, just some occultist paraphernalia. Well, sucks to be them. Oh yeah, I also had the revelation that those red bars in the background, when they decrease, they are less injured. Which is something I wasn't really paying attention to or aware of. Okay, that's a beetle right there. People here just ride bugs, huh? Yeah, okay. So, I am going, 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 going away. Although, maybe they're just merchants, but at the same time, I kind of don't want to risk that. Although... Hmm. What the heck? Hi. Coleopterin Corsairs. A scarred, mustachioed thug swings about the horns of a giant approaching beetle. Cans poke through the carved out holes in its shell. Cullises are raised, a wordless battle cry. Defend ourselves. Oh my god, they are well armed. I am gonna just go away. And then he ran away. Bye! Oh yes, the heart light might be a good idea. Although, I'm curious. I don't know, there's something in the background that looks newer, but... I kind of want to know, though. Cut it down for lumber. Death to all trees. Purge this world of trees. It has no need of them. Hmm. Yeah. Let's turn the heart light back on. Oh, good, they've fixed that bug where I could actually just 
good. I could just auto reset it. Yeah, no. Am I really not faster than you? Really? <sighs> Aw, impolite ones? Well, doesn't matter to me. They die just as easily as any- Oh wow, you are an idiot. Like, just the idea that you would think this was a good idea? Just... Ooh, you made some bad choices, friend. First, we're gonna take out the gun, and then we're gonna take out- Oh! Yeah, you're, uh... I see what you're trying to do, buddy. Let's go back one. And we're gonna continue... Tearing apart that engine and the gun. We shouldn't be able to fire, really, but we'll find out. Hmm. Kind of expected that gun to not work, but okay. Hmm. Bradley Bags is looking a little bit worse for wear. Uh, da 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 da. You're swabby, you're fine. You're just crew member. I just, I don't. I mean, I care about them, don't get me wrong, but by the same token, you know. I don't care about them that much. Let's disable the gun, please. Really? Oh, well, at least they exploded. Hazard coffee and a human prisoner. Hmm. Oh, well, that's a pity. Well, let's go to this, what did you call it, frog bit or something? It was a very weird name. Frog bit smut. Mmm. With a delicious name like that, who could resist? Hi. Oh? Mad Semsters, exiles from Gossamer's Smile, workers at Lord Aranax's loom. Driven mad by the scope of his project, wearing robes of shucked spider skin, and screaming of the oncoming awakening. Invoke their old lord's name, they still fear his wrath. The Semsters shriek in fear and their spiders back away. It's great legs getting. It knows you, Brian Bright. They warn shrilly as they leave. Odd, you never gave your name. Well, that's unpleasant. Anyway. It let me avoid combat, so there's that. But also, oh my, that's a... Uh, that's a thing right there. That uh, overgrown space right there. Hmm, not a fan. Not a fan. Let's go to this frog bit smut. Come on, crawl a little bit faster, thank you. Please, please, thank you. I, I could have sworn I've been to this place. It looks like the, um, little Mycenae village. Doesn't it? Isn't it? A cluster of Mycenae have gathered in the swamp, building a fungal community of their own. Marsh here is untamed. You wonder how these Mycenae see human faces. Hmm. Yeah. You're gonna be a guard, sir. Anyway, visit the Elder. The mice and I are excited to have a stranger in their midst. The Wrinkled Guild Elder greets you beside a roaring fire in the center of the village. It is surrounded by mice and I lying on makeshift beds on the floor, their fibrous skin blackened in places as though by fire. Some of them have chunks taken out of them, like the bites of a wolf, great gouges that reveal their glistening vegetable matter insides. Stem rot, explains the Elder grimly, it ravages us year by year, a harvest that takes more every time. We cannot afford to suffer this again. Please, Traveler, it bows its red-capped hat. Do you have anything that can help us? We can offer you gifts in return for your aid. I am positive I saw this event already, but... Let's see here. Ask your surgeon to take a look at them. Zhang Bashou can surely do something to help. Zhang Bashou looks, if anything, a little embarrassed. It fiddles with its stethoscope and avoids your gaze. I specialize in human medicine, not mycenae medicine, it grumbles. What, do you think I'm an expert just because I'm one of them? Well, I mean... <sighs> Fine, give them some medicinal herbs. It's the best you can offer. The Elder accepts the herbs with gratitude. This should help a little, it says. We appreciate it. Thank you. It presses something into your hand. A good luck totem that's been in our village for a long time, it explains. We hope it pr proves a better guardian of your crew than it was for us. 
Ah. Let's inspect it real quick. What a great disappointment. You realize that the trinket is just a piece of cheap gym crackery? Gym crackery? I don't know how you would pronounce that, but okay. Still. Interesting. Leave the city. Quickly, let's look over the map real quick, because I... There was a place near the Poet Knights, if I remember right. Yeah, it was probably Twinflower Rust. There was another Mycenae village exactly like this one. Weird. Still, we're going to Penitence Bluff, uh, west. West and south. Or south, then west a lot. One or the other. There's a bunch of those beetle bastards again. What? Oh. Yeah. Question. Vigilance. Hi. Can you improve mine? Oh. Oh. A radical pamphlet might be useful. And I'm wondering why I'm at a disadvantage here. Why is this a skill check? Hmm. Still, Nicholas Verdant. He cracks self-effacing jokes and sports a neat red beard. There's a bandolier of pistols half hidden under his green suit jacket. He has a bruise blossoming on one cheek and he's limping on a twisted ankle. A test of vigilance. Target practice. We're at a disadvantage. Interesting, though. For days, Nicholas has been cajoling you into joining him out on the balcony for a little shooting. He has arranged a line of five bottles out on the rail. With a fluid motion, he draws his pistol and fires five shots, exploding all but the last. Just nicked it, he says, holding up the bottle for your inspection. Look, I scratched the side. You turn, you're, you draw just as fast, but you send all five bottles spinning broken into the void below. Oh. You must take me under your wing, he says, only half joking. Let's go again. Hmm. All right, then. Yeah, let's go. Let's, uh, go. Because Vigilance is going to increase my accuracy and helps with at least one of those events that just straight up kills everybody. I have to review the stats again. I know, I know, someone put in the comments what all the stats do, but... Ah, my memory, it's not as good as it used to be. Well, of course that implies that it ever was good, but, uh, yeah. Eh, no, maybe not. Sorry, Beetle, I don't want to deal with you. Bye. I mean, it's good to know that I can outrun Beetles at the very least. Hmm. Tempting to use my fetch mirror, actually, just because of the six fuel. Although, I guess I'm going to be near Gossamer Smile soon enough, so, yeah. We'll hit Penitence, bu yeah. Penitence Bluff, not Bolf, because Bolf isn't a word. But, oh my god, that is the longest one I've ever seen. What valuables might you have, I wonder? Hmm. Well, let's hide that real quick, because... Ah, yes. Well, we'll search ourselves for a drink. And find nothing. Pity. Pity, a shame, oh well. How many to the west do we have to go? Let's see, about five, it looks like. And it is straight west. Okay. Oh my god, no. Please, no. Please, sir, no. I don't know what you want, but please, no. Please, no. Really? <sighs> Brood mothers, the wasp has bloated its belly swollen by eggs, its oviposter raw and drooling. On its back are a group of veiled nuns, entrusted with the delicate holy task of finding their wasp a host in whom to lay its eggs. They seem to have settled on a candidate. The wasp dive bombs you, its sting scraping your hull. Let's see what we have to deal with first. Okay. This seems very killable. No one's in the weapon bay? Why is nobody in the weapon bay? 
Jog, you're going in there. Now might as well blow up that. Probably should have actually targeted the actual uh, weapons more, but didn't. Ah, oh, dear, 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 dear. Where are you targeting? Down south? Anybody I care about? You. Get out of there. Okay, that's unfortunate, but... Oh, well. What do you mean no one's in the weapons bay? Someone is right here. Jog. Ah, they need to be closer to it. Yeah. Good hits, good hits each. Oh shit. Get me out of there. Get me out of there. Well, shit. That was unfortunate. Anyway. That other weapon seems to be disabled. So. Let's focus down that one. And pray. Disabled? Good. This appears to be disabled. Question, could I take it over? I do have four guards to there, too. No, I'm not going to worry about it. It's something I don't want to play with right now. Oh, and, uh... And I'll go back a little bit. Say goodnight. Really? Huh. Actually, I'm wondering. Because if they're broken, I'm wondering... how they'll react. No, no, I'm just gonna... keep you in sight. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? No, let's just keep them in sight for now. Because I don't know if these fires will actually damage their hull. They don't appear to do that, though. Okay, you know what? Sending over our guys. What do you mean, can't board? Hell yeah, you can. Board it, kill them, and we'll take the rest of it. Do your worst, buddy. See what happens when we kill their captain. Melee combat's kind of lackluster, but we're doing good so far. I guess. I'm not sure what happens if we actually kill everybody here. I assume I get more loot out of that, which is why I'm actually doing it. Hmm. Well, finish him off. Come on, you can do it. Good job, Bartholomew. Without anyone holding its reins, the wasp flies in bewildered circles for a while. Finally, it lands with a thud beside your canopy, licking its wounds. Tear it apart. Take everything there is. Ah. You search the smashed, twitching wasp. Success! You discover what was once a hand of glory, though it has been crushed beneath the wreckage. Still, you manage to recover one of its fingers. And there, in the barrel around the wasp's thorax, gallons of scorn honey. Scorn vaunts second most popular trade good. Curious. Very curious, actually. Apparently, Squanvant is a place we'll have to visit at some point. Question. Tell me of them. Actually, do I get more details on these guys? Not really. Scorn honey. Tell me of it. Sweet nectar from the slave hives in Squanvant. Ah, uh, 
wasps that have enslaved bees, I suppose. More than likely, considering wasps are pricks. Seriously, if you're not aware, wasps, downright evil creatures. Just awful. Honeybees, on the other hand, awesome people. As far as, you know, insects go. They make honey. And they pollinate things. And they're dying off, so that's sad. But, anyway, moving along. Don't want to fight you, if I can avoid it. I just want to get some bottled darkness. Because I love that stuff. It's delicious. Uh, okay, witch hunters. It skitters around you obscenely fast, fangs gleaming in the dull light of the burning torches held by its crew. They examine your canopied through colored lenses, waving divining rods and bells. Abruptly, they order their cannons ready. They've sensed something of the occult about you. A test of spirit. Remind them of the governor's wrath. Strictly speaking, they shouldn't be attacking any occultists from the City of Keys. There's a treaty. A treaty? That was Lord Aranak who agreed to a treaty, not them. He has no sovereignty out here. Try to run? Thanks. Okay, so I have to build up my spirit to deal with those ones. Unfortunate, and they're gonna catch me again anyway. So, fuck me, huh? Or maybe they didn't. Really? 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 Is that, is that how that worked? Good news is I can retreat anyway, so it doesn't matter. Ah, oh, great, another beetle. Hate these beetles, hate them so much. Oh, look, a face. Good, good, good. Turn the heart light on, please. Nope. Thanks. Penitence Bluff. Oh, wow, you look interesting. Hello there. A twisted beak of a mountain lurches from the swamp. House Thespian has hollowed it, carved stairs and frescoes, and built their throne in its bowels. Hmm. Well, drop off our car char passenger, obviously. Good for them. Bound for a ghoul watch, you say? Alright, fair enough. Yeah, gather our news. You need to buy a round of ale at the local tavern, but sure. Rumors that a recent military exercise is actually prepar preparation for war. With whom, though? A great hero has slain a bog drake. More scandals among the various legitimate and illegitimate offsprings of Lady Fe Thespian. Hmm. Well, well, the subtleties of Lady Thespian. Now, I could fight in the arena. Gladiators wanted, shout posters all over the village, must be willing to die in battle and wear tight leathers. Amateurs welcome. What you got for me? Oh. Shit. Heavy boots crunch on the sand. Your opponent strides out through the rattling gate. A steel-armored champion from Carapace. Huge and lumbering, with a sword as tall as you are and a horned helmet covering his head. Let the bout begin, announces Lady Thespian. A gong booms. I expected to have a choice to run away from this. Well then. Test a grit. Fight, your back is against the wall. What got you into the, this mess? Um. Well, it was my irresponsibility, but going. Cool. The carapace champion is brutally strong, and your knife rings uselessly against his armor. They gave me a knife, whereas he had a, like, a great sword. Really? Really? Okay. That's fine. Seems fair. He slams the flat of his broadsword into your ribs, knocking you to the floor, and stamps on your skull for good measure. You black out. You wake in hospital the next day, covered in leeches. The Entomark doctors are inflicting their primitive medicine on you. You fight them off, but not before they present you with their bill. Good. A narrow defeat, is that what it said? Because, uh, that didn't seem like a narrow defeat to me. We'll watch a fight, though. The arena was once where helpless thralls were forced to fight and die, but the current Lady Thespian put a stop to that. Huh. 
A half dozen convicts sprawl on the sand, their naked chests tattooed with their crimes. Theft, theft, arson, murder, vagrancy. They have a moment to collect themselves before the bog drakes are unleashed, a moment which they largely spend looking up to the Lady Thespian in her grand balcony and begging for mercy. Then the monsters are upon them, huge scaly bulks as fast as snakes, and the rest is snapping jaws and gore. You feel only sympathy, I suppose. Hmm. Well, why not? Uh, let's make ourselves a horrifying ordeal. Cause why not? Mount of boiling blood, single staring eye erupting from one of its crevices, pinning you helpless in its gaze. Well, this is a cheerful place. Um, I'm going to leave though. Go to... Gossamer Smile. North. To the city of smiles and spiders. Oh, is that what we're calling it now? Hmm. Interesting place, though. A lot of barbarians. I suspect Lady Thespian has had many, many people. Although... Well, doesn't matter. Yeah, lumber, thank you. Ow. Bullshit. Um... I still haven't found a proper use for you, golems, and I don't want to abandon you, though, because I like golems. Just conceptually. This seems like a terrible choice. This doesn't, though. Huh. But yes, I suspect she has had many husbands and many, uh, kids, apparently. Which is kind of unusual. I guess. I don't know. Because, I mean, with a standard human being, although I don't know that she's a standard human being, you have, like, a nine-month gestation period. So it's like, how can you have more than ten... I guess you could have more than ten kids and still... You know, I'm not going to worry about it right now. It is a matter that I don't need to worry about, and please don't. Please don't. Please don't. But why? Try to run. Thank you. Good. Yeah, might need to improve my guile as well. So, thank God that that thing ran away. Unless it's waiting there for me, which would be very unpleasant. Oh well. It's fine, it's fine. We're just gonna go to Gossamer Smile, pick up some Aranax Silk. K well, that was an odd sound. Going. Our test of vigilance first. Good. Rusted amusements creak inside. You strayed from the road somehow. You are soon lost amongst the riots in the iron and fading primary colors. Abandoned clowns leer from every side. It takes a long time to regain your bearings. Your crew reports seeing skittering things following you. Pale, smiling heads on arachnid bodies. Oh, that is just so much worse. We'll get ourselves some news, though. Reports of spider clowns roaming the carnival wasteland. Good. Lord Aranak has sent scholars to study the plague afflicting Gil Glitterberg. Haven't seen that before. A writer has broken their oath and a bounty has been put on their heads. Hmm. Oh, a story for Lord Aranak. Why not? I have quite a few, after all. Hmm. Tale to quicken even the Lord's pulse. We're gonna do that a few more times, because yes, I love that money. Give me more. Wanna hear about blood and battle? I got blood and battle for you. It's probably a mistake, actually, because there's actually uses I could put that to, but... Anyway, explore the carnival waste. Eh, well, use up all the rest of the stories, why not? I need that money desperately. Four upgrades. Hmm. More importantly, though, Aaron X Silk, thank you. Hmm. Oh, you delightful, delightful device. But I can't afford you. I'm so sorry. Let's see here. 
Yes, explore the carnival wastes. So, oh. All the colors are faded, a carousel squeaks on its axis, a web in the spokes of a ferris wheel dangling a dozen trussed corpses, the peeling faces of a hundred painted clowns. There, a giant spider in the distance, scuttling across the blasted plain. If you fire the engines, you can chase it down, maybe even catch it. I mean, I've got to try. Capture the spider. Catching this beast alive will require real metal. Well. You race alongside the giant spider, perforating it with harpoons, but then disaster. Hunter of fish, your junior engineer, loses his footing and slips from the canetopede's side rail. The spider is upon him in an instant, tearing off him, him limbs one by one and gobbling them up. The crew switch from harpoons to rifles in a doomed effort to save him, but it's too late. By the time the spider falls dead in a tangle of legs and ichor, Hunter of Fish is a barely recognizable corpse. You order the dead spider collected, of course. Tell me, you have... Ah, yes, 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 yes. I'll take that fetch mirror, though. Hmm... Perhaps more angel wine, though? It is free. No more stories, though. Hmm. Ah, uh, well. Let me think. Don't know where I want to go from here, actually. What? Oh. Well. Well. I did, perhaps, acquire too many things. Mmm, hazard coffee I don't really need. Lumber, again, I just got it for fuel anyway, so why not? Uh, let's see, how's that set us up? We're good, okay. I really need to look into getting rid of some of this stuff, but I mean... The Angel Wine, I know I can sell that. Deactivated Golems, I feel like there has to be some way to use these things. I just don't know what it is, but that's something to worry about for later. Let's look over the map real quick. Oh, we got something we can show Bradley to the south. So I think that's where we end up going. And then to Ghoul Watch, which I could have sworn we've already gone to, but maybe I just kidnapped that person. And then since we have so much money, Ichthyid Hounds perhaps would not be a bad idea. So yeah, it's south, then northwest. And then northeast. And then, of course, to City of Angels, where we can continue our little task. But for now, thank you for your time. Not the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly. And I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.